Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw the relationship between the area of two similar triangles and their sides. Today, in this video, we will see some interesting examples based on this. The given triangle ABC and triangle DEF are two similar triangles with sides BC equals 3 cm, EF equals 2 cm. If the area of triangle ABC is 27 square centimeters, then can you find the area of triangle DEF? Let's solve this together. First, let's assume that the area of triangle DEF is x square centimeters. Now, we know that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Using this theorem, we get equation 1. Can you tell how do we get the value of x from equation 1? Good! By cross multiplying the equation 1, we get the value of x as 12 square centimeters. So, we can say that the area of triangle DEF is 12 square centimeters. Let's see another example. In the given triangle LMN, angle M is 90 degrees, LM equals 12 centimeters, and LN equals 15 centimeters. Points O and P are points on LM and LN respectively, such that angle LPO is 90 degrees and OP equals 3 centimeters. So, with the help of the figure, can you find the area of triangle LMN and the area of triangle LOP? Let's solve this. As given, triangle LMN is a right angle triangle. So, using the Pythagoras theorem in triangle LMN, the value of MN is 9 centimeters. Since we have to find the area of triangle LMN, therefore, by placing the values of LM and MN in the formula area, area of triangle LMN is 54 square centimeters. Now if we talk about triangle LPO and triangle LMN, what can you say by observing them? Correct. Angle L in both the triangles is the common angle. And angle LPO and angle LMN are right angles. Can you now identify the similarity of triangle LPO and triangle LMN? Good. Both these triangles are similar according to the AA criteria, where side PO and side MN are proportional corresponding sides. We are sure you remember that the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Hence, from the similar triangles LPO and LMN, we get the equation 3. Putting the value of the area of triangle LMN and side PO, we get the area of triangle LPO as 6 square centimeters. Today, in this video, we saw some examples related to the area of similar triangles.